Hey, it's Amanda from The Fenomena Home. It is Monday. I had to think. Isn't that sad? <laughs> it is Monday. Um, it's the day that I went to my co-op and Ricky got his senior pictures done. And I was pretty much exhausted, so I came home and crashed after all of that was done. So, um, Rick and I ran to the grocery store because we had, we struggle with the gluten-free options. I think I mentioned it on the Frugal Family Food page. If you're, speaking of which, if you are not on the Frugal Family Food Facebook page, I'm gonna put a link in the description box right down here. So make sure you go there and join our Frugal Family Food Facebook group. And I got lots of neighbors showing up. <laughs> I guess it's just that time of day. But anyway, so, what was I saying? So we ran to the grocery store to get a little something for Ricky, and I decided on some gluten-free pasta and a jar of spaghetti sauce, because we were at Aldi, and it was a dollar for the gluten-free pasta, like a dollar twenty-five or something like that. And it was about a dollar for a can of tomato sauce. And I thought that would be kind of an expensive something that he could have maybe for a couple days. So we came home, and you know what happened? my jar of tomato sauce rolled onto my driveway and cracked open. <laughs> Needless to say, my husband was not thrilled. And so I was a little disturbed. I got tomato sauce all over my skirt that I wear like all the time. A little depressing. But I was like, okay, all right, well, we'll figure that out. At least I got the gluten-free pasta. So ran in the house, um, dumped some of the groceries, came back out to get the rest of the things that I had because my hands were full, I, you know, in my purse and stuff. And um, came out, and then you know what I did? I dropped the bag of pasta. The bag of pasta split open and went all over my driveway. <laughs> Can you believe that? I could not believe it. I was like, what in the world? And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go make something. I'm just gonna go figure something out. Cause I just was about done. You know, it's kind of late. You can see the lights are going dim. It's getting late. So I go inside, but I think, oh, I need to take my skirt off. I need to wash all that pasta sauce off cause it's red and it'll stain. So I go to the sink to wash the pasta sauce off and I put my skirt, you know, underneath the sink. And I'm washing it, right? <laughs> the fabric, I'm trying to hold my hands out so you can see it, here we go. Hmm. The fabric of the skirt kind of cupped and all of the water from the sink, like from the spigot, came down and started pouring all over my kitchen floor. So my husband, who had been outside cleaning up the pasta sauce, cleaning up the pasta, came in to the kitchen right at the moment to see me pour water all over the kitchen floor. <laughs> and you know my husband. You know my husband. Bugs. He was less than happy. <laughs> he was less than happy with the mess. So... My mom used to always tell me that things happen in threes. I don't know if anybody's ever like said that to you, like all the old timer people. Let me zoom out a little bit, there we go. I don't know if anybody's ever said that to you, but I was like, you know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done trying to do anything tonight. <laughs> Nothing major is going on. Let me make my video. You can see the sun's going down as we speak. I gotta keep stepping back to get some sunlight. So I had no real plan for the video tonight. I just couldn't think of anything and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna share with them <clears throat> my little experience, my little tale of woe for tonight. <laughs> I hope you're not having a day like mine. <laughs> I hope your day has been amazing. And I hope that my day tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to assume my day tomorrow is much better. Really, I can't complain. The, the rest of the day, it was busy, it was crazy, but it was very good. It was very good. My co-op classes went smoothly. Everybody was well behaved. I think they learned a lot of chemistry. Ricky's pictures, they were really good. It's just this end of the night. I don't know what happened. I'm like, I guess I shouldn't be making this dinner, whatever it is. So, I don't know. 
Ever had a night like that? If you've had a night like that, you hit that like button. <laughs> and you comment down below and you tell me if you've had a night like I have because I need I need a little I need somebody to tell me it's gonna be okay. <laughs> That's what I need right now. I need that Amanda, it's all gonna work out speech. You guys might need to give me that speech quite a lot. Let's be real. You guys you guys need to give me that speech a lot. I'm just that I don't know. I'm just that person. I hope you still love me anyway. So, anyway, just a random Vita video for the day with very little light and lots of craziness. But I hope you're sticking around with me. Tomorrow I am like off. Like I have no major tasks or anything. The only thing I'm supposed to do is get the tires changed on the truck. Hopefully, Lord willing, that'll work out. We ordered our computer today. So, and we acquired a tablet, so hopefully we'll get that on board and everything will be working out. The new computer is not supposed to be here till Friday. So between now and Friday, it's going to be limited computer time. So stick with me. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it work. I'm not missing a day of Vita, people. Where is the camera? I'm not missing a day of Vita. I'm not doing it. I'm doing every day. Lord willing. <laughs> so even if I have a random video like this, I will put something up every day. So anyway, thanks for staying with me, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I have some goals for tomorrow for my videos, but I don't want to make any promises because the way things are going right now, I'm afraid that I'll make you a promise and you'll count on it and it won't happen. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.